keep telling people, uh, you know, getting a 9 a.m. start in Hyderabad is like the promise of AI. Okay, it sounds interesting. Looks like there are a lot of possibilities, but you are not sure what the end outcome will be. How many people will show up, right? And uh, so far, nothing I've seen today kind of, you know, leads me to believe that there's a variation on that thesis. So next time, maybe Arun and team, uh, think about a 9 a.m. start, particularly on a nice Friday morning. Yeah? Okay. So I think, uh, uh, I think uh, I was just thinking about, as I was driving into this event, I was thinking about uh, what's happening with AI. Uh, I don't know how many of you had a chance to read a memo which uh, Sundar Pichai put out, I think, in a couple of days ago. Anyone has read that? Yeah? So please read it. Right? It's a 2,500 word memo on the possibilities of AI. It's, it's in the public domain. You can look it up. And uh, it, is, uh, it is surreal. I mean, if you look at what, how Google is thinking about uh, what they're planning to do with AI. And I think it has profound implications. Uh, he also talks about uh, you know, responsible AI and a bunch of other things. But uh, you know, in some ways, uh, and uh, you know, again, connecting back to the theme of uh, showing up at 9, I was talking to a bunch of folks, including Ranjan here, and I said only people of a certain generation will show up at 9 o'clock. Right? So, so in some ways, I guess we are uh, kind of a little bit privileged that uh, we get to be at, the, you know, at this point in time looking at what's happening in AI and how it's going to be uh, game-changing, transformative. So I think obviously, I think uh, AI is going to be a really fertile ground for innovation and experimentation. So if you look at uh, one of the things I've seen, right, particularly in Hyderabad, and I have to give credit, a lot of credit to Ramesh here for a number of initiatives which they've kicked off. So about a month ago or a couple of months ago? Huh? Yeah, a couple of months ago, we had an event here. Uh, we had a Gen AI summit, which was done along with uh, NASCOM on T-Hub. Uh, Ramesh is always known for his interesting choice of venues. So he did it in a, in a pub called Monastery. So we had about uh, 16 Gen AI startups. Uh, there was a nice dictionary of about, there's a nice uh, compilation directory of about uh, 40 plus AI startups. So clearly, you know, I think there's a tremendous opportunity for Hyderabad uh, to play the, you know, to play a role as, uh, uh, you know, enabling an AI ecosystem and to lead the way uh, sort of thing, right? So. So as I was, as I was uh, driving up here, I was thinking about you know, how uh, we've already seen. For example, uh, I had to resist the temptation as I was coming in here to go to chat GPT and say, OK, tell me about the role of AI in product management. Because that would be outright plagiarism. So I said, we shouldn't do that. So I think you can see already it is affecting the way you think, you, you talk, you read, you learn, and so on. So tremendous implications for, for people who are building products and consequently, obviously, product managers, right? Uh, I was looking at a report from uh, Gartner. And uh, Gartner you know, publishes all these nice reports. Some of them are, have to be taken with a large pinch of salt, sometimes with a large barrel of salt. Uh, but uh, I think clearly, Gen AI is uh, something where you know, the time has come. And I think it will accelerate the innovation process, it will accelerate the quality of what is getting built, the diversity of ideas, and clearly create you know, many more robust and undifferentiated and differentiated, uh, uh, products. Right? So there were some numbers I was looking at, another report uh, from, uh, from McKinsey. Right? Uh, and I do know sometimes they get some of their predictions wrong. Uh, but they tend to be you know, more right than wrong. So they came up with a report where they said the potential of uh, product and business opportunities with, uh, with Gen AI is somewhere in the tune of between 2.6 million to 4.4 trillion in terms of this thing, right? And clearly this is an area where I think as we have a unique opportunity in India, okay, we have a large workforce, okay, we have high quality academic institutions, uh, there's a lot of collaboration happening between industry, academia, right, and the startup ecosystem. Right? So there's a tremendous opportunity to help businesses to innovate, to streamline, and then to launch uh, new products. Right? So if you look at funding, right, which is something which we track closely, uh, in 2022, uh, Gen AI uh, generated about 2.1 billion. 
of funding was raised in one year. And I don't think there's been any other stream of work in over the last 40 plus years of venture investing where so much capital has been raised focused on one theme. Uh, uh, part of my job, I have to travel quite a bit. And uh, I was in the valley, you know, I've been to the valley twice in the last three months. And uh, every time we go and meet a VC and talk to them, the only thing they say is, if you're talking Gen AI, come and talk to us. Otherwise, find some, go and meet someone else. Right? So clearly, the opportunity, I think, is uh, huge. And I think, uh, you, you know, uh, when you think about it, uh, in terms of what I think the impact is going to be, right? It's, it's huge. I think it's going to impact everything which uh, classic product management requires you to look at. I think AI will help you make more uh, data-driven decisions, right? Obviously, because now you have access to large, you know, to looking at large data sets, crunching and finding patterns which otherwise would be hard to do. Uh, obviously, there's a significant scope for uh, personalization, okay, being able to deliver specific content, specific messaging, etc. And then obviously many other things around risk management, around automation, around NLP, and so on, right? So I think this is a great forum. Uh, I was looking at the list of people who are going to be here, and uh, kudos to the organizers for putting together a high quality uh, list of speakers. I'm sure the deliberations will lead to a lot of uh, discussion, uh, lots of new ideas will get generated. And uh, hopefully this is another step uh, in our collective endeavor here to make uh, both Hyderabad, Telangana, and obviously India the place to be in. There's no reason why, uh, you, know, uh, you know, everyone knows about the Sam Altman thing, right? You can't build something with 10 million. I think we'll prove him wrong, yeah. right? And uh, hopefully, whatever we are doing here today would be a good next step uh, in that process. Okay, so thank you for having me here. And I do hope uh, you'll have some really interesting, you know, uh, you know you'll get to hear to some really interesting folks. But more than that, I think the conversations you'll have during the breaks is what will really enrich uh, uh, a meeting of this type. Thank you. To stay informed about the startup ecosystem, subscribe to my Startup TV.